What's up, guys? Tony here hanging out with you. Um, let me know. Please let me know if you can hear me and don't mind the diaper thing right there. <laughs> oh, God, I was on baby wipes right there. Uh, guys, let me know if you can hear and see me quickly. Uh, I want to make sure. I It's been a busy, busy week for me. Well, busy two, three weeks for me, and I couldn't get on the past couple uh, calls here, so sorry about that. But I'm back. We are back. And I got some updates for you very, very quickly. Guys, we're only going to be on for about a half hour because I have other things I got to get done today. But the normal Q&A is a half hour anyway. I just want to tell you that I'm not going to go on, you know, because I usually go 40, 45 minutes when we get into our little rants. But um, quickly, guys, can you hear me? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Let me know if you're a VIP member. Um, or not, and also where you're tuning in from. That'll be excellent. If you are a newbie watching for the first time, let me know that you're a newbie. Uh, Gavin, I didn't have a, t a time off. I was actually still working and still pretty busy. I just was, yeah, I couldn't get on these calls, um, especially because of, um, especially because of all the trainings I've been creating for ecom domination, guys. Any ecom domination members in here? Anybody? Because I just I just uh, updated week one training two days ago, and I, I sent it to all of our members uh, for ecom dom. Russ, did you get it? Gary, did you get it? Charlie, did you get the week one training? Did you guys go through it? Let me know what you think really quickly. I'm so excited for this training. It's going to be epic. Uh, did you get it? Like, did you watch the videos? Let me know. Uh, Gavin says, just kidding. <laughs> just curious. Uh, Ron Cocker says, outstanding. I'm already done. Okay, great, 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 great. Arnold, I know not yet. When you're ready, Arnold, we will be here waiting for you to get in. Ecom domination whenever you want to. All right, we will be here. Russ just went through it. Russ, give me some of your feedback. Um, people who went through the course so far, the videos, um, let me know if you guys learned anything, uh, if you guys got inspired, got ideas. Give me some feedback on the training super quickly, please. I need to know what you think. Um, other than that, what's up, Pistol Pete? No worries. You're not late, man. We, we are. We're, we're good. Uh, other than that. I love it. Waiting on week two already was inspired from the beginning. I know Arnold. Hey, Arnold, man, no worries, dude. You'll, you'll get a chance to get in. Actually, after the complete live training is done, we're going to do a relaunch um, and change the offer around a little bit. But we, you know, I'm still going to continue to support all of our members for Ecom domination. It's going to be epic. I picked out my domain. I picked out my niche. So that's going to be coming in week three, uh, week two. Uh, other things set up, but it's going to be great, guys. So for all of you guys on here that are interested in ecom domination, you can actually still sign up. You're not late if you want to. Just go through this, watch the training video, and if you want to join, you can join up, no problem. All right, so let's do some auto body Q and A, guys. Okay, so quick truck I posted on the reptile liner on the bed. No, I did not see that yet. I did not see it. I'll definitely check it out on Instagram today. Tony, do you color? Yeah, let's start. Let's start the auto body Q&A, guys. Aaron Smith says, Tony, do you color sand and buff door jams? 95% of the time, no. Don't even mess with it because door jams, they're so, they have so many curves in them. So the spots are all weird, you know, and they just normally, no, just leave the door jams as is because most times they look good. You know, you're, it's just a, such a little area. They look good. Um, now, if you have a major run in a, in a flat section of the door jam and you feel like you could sand it out and get to it with a little buffer, then yeah, you could, you could buff that spot out. But usually, no, I will never buff door jams, just the outside of the body. So that's my input on that. Um... I just started spraying clear and it's looking dope. 
Awesome, man. Aaron, please send in some pictures, man. IG us at, uh, you know, at Boss Painter. Hashtag us, Boss Painter. Hashtag uh, L-A-B-A-P. And um, I'll definitely love to check out your project, man. Definitely, definitely. Tony, while it's on my brain, <clears throat> uh, right before right before show, been, been on a huge boat project. My 85 checkmate, known for a huge metal flake, whatnot and whatnot. Question is, what do you think is best for marine use paint? Uh, so you're talking about a, a foundation, right? I would say um, for any type of fiberglass work, okay, you could go with an epoxy. And then you could put a base coat, clear coat right on top of it. Or you could even seal that with a 2K filler primer. It's the same process. Uh, it's the same process when finishing boat fiberglass, body kit fiberglass, um, normally your your boat is going to be gel coated in, in your flexing areas. You're going to have a lot of fiberglass and gel coat. So as long as that's done correctly, I wouldn't worry about flex, um, you know, with, with your regular painting. So you could do an epoxy. You could do a 2K filler primer on top of that and then put your base coat, clear coat, or single stage enamel. I'm not, not sure exactly what you're doing. have tested many times. Okay, freshwater. Freshwater engine. Okay, uh, underwater. Yes, underwater is okay if you do a base coat, clear coat. It will be fine. What I would do is add, you can add some cayenne uh, pepper or even cayenne hot sauce liquid, very little, in your paint. That will stop any type of growth on the bottom of your boat. It really works. Um, I, we did it in boats that were docked in sea and also long periods of time in lakes. I've had past VIP members many years ago use that and it would help it would stop growth of any kind of algae to the bottom of your boat and, and have it will make your cleaning a lot easier. Um, Jack Callis, quick question. Did you see anything from me yet? If not, I'm done trying to send you anything. Just not working. Jack, I did see something, but the videos were not going through. Let me double check again right now uh, while I'm on email with you. Uh, like I said, I got the pictures, okay? I got all of the pictures here. I just haven't had time to reply. The car looks fantastic, man. I don't, you know, you can, the car looks fantastic, okay, um, from the pictures. Uh, the videos here, let me see. I do not... Let me double check... Let me double check, Jack. I'm on it right now. Thank you for the reminder. I've been so busy as well. But I know I got the pictures. The I'm on Amazon right now. It's still loading. Um, I will double check. If I do get the video, I will definitely make a another keynote presentation on your project for everyone to see. But um, the Amazon's taking a little while. It says site can't be reached. Let me see something here. It, and I'll reply back to your email. I do have the Amazon phone. And it looks like it's loading. And I look like I have some video here. It looks like it's a three-minute video. So, yes, Jack, I did get it. I will definitely check it out and get back to you. Thank you so much. No, don't. It's okay, Jack. You're good. I'm actually happy you reminded me and uh, got me to check it again. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Jim. I sanded my prelude down to bare metal and there was a small hole smaller than a dime in the hood. What the hell could that have come from Honda factory like that? Scratching my head factory did that. I'm not sure, man. It's, it's very hard for me to answer that question. Um, Honda prelude. Is that an aluminum hood? If anything, you could patch it up with a little fiberglass if you wanted to from the backside from underneath 
And then I would just lay some, you could lay some epoxy, not epoxy, but you could lay uh, kitty hair fiberglass filler to fill that hole. And then just body work it, uh, put some glaze putty on it, polyester glaze putty, prime it, and then have it ready for paint. Um, cool, cool, cool. Have a single, Bernard, have a single stage painted MC fairing, one to 2K with original paint. What's the process? <clears throat> well, it's the same exact process when painting a car. Um, Bernard Diaz, I would highly recommend you to check out Learn Auto Body VIP. Are you a VIP member? We have everything in step-by-step -step detail in VIP. Um, I would definitely, I mean, ask our VIP members on the chat right now if they learned a lot in VIP. I'm telling you, if you just go through that program, you will know the step-by-step -step process. We have hundreds of hours of step-by-step -step auto body if you want to look at a, do a body kit, a motorcycle, a car, a classic car. Uh, it's all in there. Definitely check it out. I'm just trying to answer a little bit more detailed technical questions here. Um, something like that is so broad. I just don't know where to start. Um, okay. Uh, Charlie, why you choose silver when painting lawnmower under candy? If I did the same thing, can I use a different color? Well, if you want to get the full effect of candy colors, guys, you want to paint over a silver. I said this many times. It's in VIP especially in the VIP uh, mower project. When you paint candy over silver, it will show the most resilient effect of, or brilliant effect of that candy. If you paint over black, you're not gonna see anything. If you paint over the same color, you will see something. Like if you paint, if, you're, if you have a blue candy and, you, and you're painting over a blue base coat, you will see the effect, but it will be darker. Okay, it will be a darker. If you want to get that brilliant candy effect, go over a bright silver, a medium silver, a darker silver will give you a darker effect. Okay, but I've never really painted over dark like a charcoal because you're not going to get a real good effect. Just like if you paint candy over black, it's going to it's going to show as black. You're not going to even really see a color tint. Maybe very little, but it's pretty much going to look black. Um, hi, Pepe Coco said, hi, I'm paint. I'm planning to paint a few engine mounts, but not sure if normal two pack paint will be a good choice for it. I presume yes. Uh, or I need to use high heat. You could, you will be okay painting base coat, clear coat on engine mounts. Okay. Just make sure you use a good, I would even use an epoxy primer over that metal. And then you could do your base coat, clear coat right on top of that. Uh, yeah, Jim, I'm not sure. <laughs> Guys, smash the like button, man. Smash the like button. Uh, I keep sanding through. So hold on a second, guys. I'm just backing up. So Aaron Smith says, I keep sanding through my primer on edges, body lines of panels. I lay my 2K on thick, two, not a huge deal. One, I touch up with 1K. Fill the primer, anyone, anyone, any tips? You could touch it with touch it up with 1K if you have a very little metal showing, just like I show you in VIP, because sometimes it's just a pain in the butt to mix another batch of 2K. You could even use a uh, Spray Max 2K aerosol 2K if you want to crack a can open. I know it's a little expensive. It's it's uh 20 bucks, 25 bucks a can, but you could do that if you want to. It's not necessary. Uh, the only thing is if you go with 1K. Sand it very lightly, okay, and don't wax and grease remove it because the wax and grease will melt your 1K primer, all right? Then you're going to have a problem. But, Aaron, it happens all the time. Just scuff it. Even if it feels a little rough, like you're not getting everything 100% after you 1K prime it, you're going to be okay, all right? Because once you lay the paint on, the paint and clear coat is going to fill all those little things up anyway, Okay. Paint, paint itself <clears throat> is a little bit of filler. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. <clears throat> Jedi mind. I, I got a problem with holograms, buffer trails when buffing the rotary. I know it's better to finish the DA, but what's your process of buffing? 
Uh, I like to cut with the wool pad on the rotary. So that's fine. Cut with the wool, wool pad. I like to use the yellow wool pad. It's a little softer than the white uh, wool pads on the rotary, high speed. <clears throat> and then you could even finish off with a glaze on a rotary with a foam buffering pad. That's my process. And then at the very end, if you want to, you could use the DA orbital with a foam pad with your glazing uh, compounds, with your glazing uh, glazes. Okay, there's so many in the market. I don't even want to get into that right now. You got McGuire's, you got 3M Perfected, you got, uh, what is that, Chemical Guys. You know, I've used them all. They all work great. It's just personal preference. Like, do you like Adidas? Do you like Nikes? Do you like, uh, uh, what is that, New Balance? You know, some people like them all. Like me, I'll wear all kinds of brand shoes. I'll try all kinds of paints. <clears throat> but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Arnold, you think we should ask Tony about sending my VIP shirt to you? I'm not sure uh, what's what's what that's about. Uh, I'm trying to paint some replacement. God, I'm getting. I'm trying to paint some replacement fenders. Juan says was wondering if it matters if I use Rust-Oleum Automotive Gray Primer or if I need a lacquer based primer. No, you don't want to use a lacquer based primer. I would use a 2K primer. Okay, a 2K primer means you're putting a hardener catalyst in with your primer and your primer. And, you know, you could use the automotive gray primer. I don't know if you're talking about the 1K. I'm not sure if they make a 2K uh, in Rust-Oleum. Um, but, yeah. I would definitely use Juan automotive base 2K primers. Okay. Um, Pete, I've seen John HOK do some light gold foundation for candy. Yes, you could do light gold. Anything that's a light color okay a light gold metallic a light silver metallic or a medium silver you could do that and again you could also do like a light gold foundation and then put gold candy on top of it that'll do something you could even put like a candy lime on top of gold i've done that before that also looks good you know with candies guys it's really there's a million different variations. Seriously, you could just test it out, test out whatever you want to do. I mean, it's so when you when you're working with candies, pearls and flakes, it's so custom that you could try anything you want and just test it out and see how it looks. If it looks great, then you know that that combination looks great. And I do plan on doing more candy. I'm going to be doing a candy on the Honda Groom project that we got um, in Hawaii. Um, and we're going to be doing the CRV project when I get back. So quick update, my flight for July 16th got canceled. Hawaiian emailed me last week. So I have no tickets right now going back to Hawaii. I want to get back as soon as I can. But because of this whole COVID issue, it's just screwing things up. Um, next week, hopefully, I'll be able to rebook um, because they are taking the quarantine down in Hawaii after July 31. It was June 31. Now it's July 31. They're getting ready to reopen. They're saying August is going to be open. So hopefully I can fly out mid this month because I don't mind if I have to do the two-week quarantine with my family at home. I'll do that. That's not a problem. We're just trying to get back. You know, it's frustrating for all of us here. We want to, we want to get back home. We want. I want to start working on projects. I want to start putting up new videos for you guys. This is like frustrating for me, but this is all I can do right now for you guys. So I continue to support you guys through Q&A like this. So hopefully you guys are appreciating this. Please hit the like button if you are. I mean, I'm trying as best as I can, guys. Seriously. Um, so yeah. Okay, we got about 10 more minutes of Q&A here. Um, Nick Vape says... Awesome, Gareth. When Jedi... Uh, Jedi Mind, thanks. Uh, Nick Vape says, how long should I wait to spray uh, each three-stage three, three stage paint? Well, it's the same flash time process as a two-stage paint. Three-stage, you just basically got another base coat layer in between. So by the time you go around the car, you should be ready for your next coat. Okay, You could even wait 10, 15 minutes to give it extra. So I would say a flash time for base coat is anywhere from 30 minutes, give or take. Okay. 30 minutes. Uh, Pistol Pete, 
Use Mag's microfiber cutting pads for DA works great for beginners and pros. Rotary takes time to perfect. Thanks for your advice, man. Really appreciate it. You got it. Um, hi, first time on everything. What kind of primer you use on a hard body? Ricardo, check out VIP right here. Ricardo. Um, Pistol Pete. Okay, Pistol Pete's just helping out in the chat. Thank you, Pistol Pete. Thank you, Arnold. I'm doing a bright yellow base with a gold pearl candy. Oh, you know what, guys? I've done yellow base coat with gold pearl, and it looks really, really nice. Just that combo alone looks really nice. So um, 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 I know that your, your candy uh, gold is going to come out nice. <coughs> Yeah, I, I, I can't wait. I want to do more candy as well. Rent a boat and paddle back to Hawaii. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, oh, that's another thing, man. Once I get back to Hawaii and once I get my property, dude, I want to get a jet ski and maybe we'll like customize and paint the jet ski. That, that'll be awesome too. But before a jet ski, I might just get a kayak so I can like work out and get some paddling in. <laughs> um, Jack Callis says I know we know you're doing your best you have to do what is needed to stay out of trouble with the law we will be here for you thank you Jack hi Tony what I was told that yellow is hard to lay down is there any truth to that no I would think I would think as long as you have a solid color under it like a solid primer color or a, a white base coat or a silver base coat or uh, something like that Yellow is not hard to lay down. The hardest color to lay down is black. Okay, because with black, you see every little imperfection. <clears throat> what size needle for primers? Uh, 1.8 to a 2.0. 2.2 would be more for like a polyester filler primer, but that could also be used with a 2.0. Tony Layers, I got to go. See you next time. Love your work as always. Thank you, Gareth. Take care. Thank you, Pistol Pete. Um, I would use a white primer so you can get a good cover. Yep, white or light gray primer, um, and you'll be fine laying that yellow down. Hey, Tony, can I paint without priming? Yes, you absolutely can if you're painting over sanded clear coat. So if you have a base coat, clear coat paint job, you could literally just scuff that down and – and uh and paint <laughs> aaron smith you got me excited to tesla i thought you bought in in too high a few weeks ago i was wrong i bet you're stoked are you gonna sell or hold well i actually sold aaron and i bought back in yesterday at the high at 11 at 1200 i bought back in 20 shares yesterday at 1200 I think I should. I was just getting FOMO. I think I don't know. I'm I'm kind of like broke even on that right now, but I think Tesla is definitely. I don't know, man. I think it might be overvalued. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is take some profits if it hits toward thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I might get out and just wait for a big drop and get back in. But I'm hearing that Tesla can get to two thousand dollars, like anytime soon so i don't know um i'm playing more uh like i said i got i got six figures in in stocks right now and a bunch of different plays i'm playing i i'm doing really well with overstock.com overstock i got in i'm like 85 percent uh return on investment with overstock i got in on facebook last week when we got the dip of bad news i'm up about a thousand dollars on facebook um, I'm playing maybe about eight or nine different plays right now. So I don't know, maybe I could make some YouTube videos on the stocks that I'm playing with. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but that's another thing that I can start doing, but I'd like to do that once I get to Hawaii. Um, I'll be better set up cause I got my other computers there and I could make, you know, better videos and stuff. So yeah, I, I want to do more on that, more money making, more money making money online type of videos and stock stuff that I do. But 
Whatever. Uh, situation money. What's a better deal? Medium solid paint or high solid paint? Or should both types of paint be used depending on application, i.e. painting over old or primer spots? It really doesn't matter. Um, a high solid is a good. Low solids also lays on. Uh, medium solids also lays on nice. Um, mostly it's just price point, uh, to be honest. Um, I've had really good results with medium solids and high solids. It's, it's really more on price point. Um, so yeah, just, just kind of look at it that way. You could paint, you know, either paints over, um, old paint or primer spots. Uh, use Omni fill premium, easy touch enamel and one K has clear to paint my firewall and spider web cracked. I think it was temperature. It could be temperature. You could have had a bad mixture. Um, web cracked seems more like a chemical reaction to me. I've heard Tesla paint warps when clear is broken. I'm not sure, but I've seen a lot of rumors about Tesla not having the best paint jobs. Um, I don't know. You know, they're a pretty new company. They're trying to bang out these cars. You know, it is what it is. Hi, Tony. Just passed by AMVA. It was a new Ford Ranger and old Dodge Caravan. Cool. I think their trucks are going to be a huge bust. Just being an automotive dealership background, it's it's going to bust, you'll see. You think the Tesla trucks are going to be a bust? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, unless you think Nikola is going to beat them with the truck, but they don't even have a, a working prototype with their... Uh, um badger truck i actually was playing with some uh Nic nicola stock a couple weeks ago made some money off that i was playing off neo stock the uh chinese electric car manufacturer i'm very into like electric car the electric car movement it's gonna be huge guys so i'm, I'm really playing a lot of stocks and and, and ev ev stocks and all of that but we'll see uh yeah i also just ordered some raptor liner for the honda crv project because we're going to be doing like a tactical look to that um the bottom is going to be a a raptor lined look maybe even the grill um i might be getting some roof racks for it and then we're going to be doing like a sand uh beige for the body and maybe putting some cool decals on it Uh, when am I going back to Hawaii? I just talked about that as soon as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, the, I love the Raptor liner, by the way. It's, it's really good. Okay, guys, I got to head out. It's 30 minutes in. I got to head out. Yeah, Pistol Pete. I don't know. I just think the Cybertruck looks really, really cool. And I put my order in for one. And my goal is to make enough in stocks to pay for my Tesla truck uh, within the next 12 months. So that's my goal. Like I want to make enough. I basically want to make pay for my truck in stock money or with my cryptocurrency profit money. That's how I want to do it. And that's what I'm shooting for. Um, I'm already probably like... I, I would say one third, one third paid off. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for jumping on, man. You guys are great. Um, here's the link to join VIP for all of you new guys. Um, if you guys are not VIP, and also if you guys are interested in joining um, Ecom Domination, um, we still have a uh, open membership if you guys want to join that. 